made that be better than this. From the drive to the back, the other position. From a young man, I dreamed to play. I heard shot in the NBA. You can catch me at the park, man, shooting the three. In the pick and forward. Point in. Richardson. They watch me on TV. At the other forward position. Michael Sweeney. Gotta love this game. Love when the crowd yells my name. At center. Jerome James. In the game. 30 teams, 82 games. Hello, Hoop fans, and welcome to this NBA exhibition game. We're here in New York City. The visiting Boston Celtics will spur off against the Knicks here on the 2K Sports Network. Greetings, I'm Kevin Harlan here with Kenny Smith. Craig Sager is our sideline reporter. Kevin, it's only an exhibition game, but both teams, they mean business. Even if it's not for your record, you still want to win. Now as we get set for the game to begin, let's take a look at the Toyota key matchup of the game. Kenny? Well, Kevin, I'm interested to see who comes out on top in this matchup at the small forward position. Richardson is a very capable small forward. This guy has all the heart. He gives you 100% every moment he's on the floor. You got to respect a player like that. He'll be challenging this one, though. Pierce is the cream of the crop when it comes to small forwards. He's such a savvy defender, too. He doesn't make many mistakes, and he always seems to be in the right place at the right time. Now let's take a quick look at the starting lineups as we're just about ready to get this one started. The Knicks are a bunch of greyhounds with excellent speed. The Celtics have outstanding quickness. All right, Kenny, we're just about ready for the tip to get this one started. The Knicks control the tip-off and will get this one started. The pass to Richardson launches beyond the arc. Allen gets the defensive rebound. Well, he missed it, and it's no surprise. That was a tough shot. And honestly, they could have gotten a better look than that. Snatched inside by Marbury. To Richardson. James tries to back down. Passes to Crawford. A tough shot is missed by Crawford. About four and a half minutes left in the first quarter. Passes it to LaFrance. Passes it to the right side. Pierce with the crossover. Off the glass and in by Pierce. Richardson inbounds it to Marbury. Let's check in with Craig Six. Well, guys, I had a chance to talk with Larry Brown, coach of the Knicks. When asked what's key for them, he said, with their excellent D, it's critical that we stay focused on offense, move the ball around, and keep them off balance. Kevin? All right, thank you, Craig. The Celtics with the ball. We've got a tie ball game here. Skip pass to Blunt. Blunt backs down. James stuffed that shot and sent them back to the drawing board. Crosses it over. Sails in. Misses the finger roll. Intercepted by Sweetney. Marber wasn't watching the line there. That's going to be an over and back. Skips it to Allen. Allen with the crossover. Allen was hacked, and he'll go to the line for a couple. Shooting two. He gets the first of two. He gets them both. The Knicks with the ball. It's a two-point differential. Passed it to Richardson. Backs him down. The pass to Crawford. From about 16. Puts too much on it. Wide around. Three minutes left in the first quarter. With the floater. Graceful finish. 
West did a great job with the pinpoint bounce pass. You love to play with guys who will set you up like that. The Knicks with the ball. 2.53 left in the first. The three ball. The French snatches down the defensive board. Hangs in the air. Oh, finishes serious. with the soft touch. Inbound pass to Marbury. Crosses it over. To Crawford. Pump fakes. Batted away by Allen. Now that's how you plant those seeds of doubt in the mind of the shooter. You go outside and oh, completely dear. shut him down with the block. Time the Knicks out. will take Knicks. their first timeout. The NBA asks all audience members, in the spirit of good sportsmanship, to refrain from throwing any objects towards participants or the playing surface. For the protection of the players and fans, any violators will be removed and are subject to arrest and prosecution. Allen will leave the floor. The Knicks bring it up. They're trailing by eight. To end the run, tickles the twine. One fifty-three left in the first quarter. Swings it to LaFrance. Passes to the left side. Pierce gives the up fake. On the line. Yes! Paul Pierce. They're two for eight for the quarter. Passes to Sweetney. Passes it far side, pump fakes, from downtown, Pierce gets the board inside. A basket would push their lead to double digits. Passes to Davis, with the fadeaway, a little long, but it goes in. Davis can really fill it up. It's a good idea to keep getting him the ball. The Knicks bring it up. They're behind 14 to four. The pass to Crawford. Crawford gives the up fake. For three, flanks it off the front of the rim. The Celtics bring it up. They're on a 14 to four run. To LaFrance. The tough shot. Davis grabs the rebound. Misses the jumper. They're two for nine for the quarter. Glides in. Down it goes. Nice finger roll. Richardson did a nice job there to keep the defense off balance. What a burst to the rim. And what a light touch. The Celtics with the ball. 30 seconds left in the first. Seven second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Pass, left side, Pierce with the crossover. Pierce oh, makes it Pierce. from 18. There's a real confident shooter right there. He was blanketed by the defense and it didn't phase him a bit. Pass to Richardson. Bounce pass to Richardson. Takes a three, buries it. Jamal Crawford! Cannons at the entire length of the court. No good. There's the horn, and at the end of one, it's 16 to nine. Kenny, what's the story so far? Well, Kevin, a couple of players have really stood out. Pierce has been taking care of business in the first quarter. He's getting the shots he wants, and he's knocking them down. Crawford has managed to drop his share points on the other side, but he's gonna need to keep up the intensity. Thanks, Kenny. Just a few moments remaining as we get set to resume. Scalabrini inbounds to start the second quarter.
skip pass to Davis. Skips it to Pierce. From the corner, swishes it through. Passes to Richardson. Fades away. Scalabrini hauls it in. They're eight for 13 for the field. Davis sank the basket and gets a trip to the line for one more. Thomas Shooting makes his first appearance. Substitution on the court. He completes the three-point play. The Knicks bring it up. About four and a half minutes left in the second. From the high post, Jefferson grabs the defensive rebound. The Celtics with the ball. They're leading by 12. The turnaround shot was off the mark by Davis. Was having none of that. He read that all the way. He got in position and then influenced the shot. Stephon Count that last J by Marbury. They're playing him tight all the way up the court. Full court, man-to-man -man deep. Swings it to Davis. Let's it fly from the wing. Ricky it's in! Davis. The Knicks will take a timeout here. Timeout. Knicks. The inbound to Marbury. The Knicks with the ball. They're shooting 35% from the floor. Launches it. Bounces off the left rim and out. The Celtics bring it up. They're in front, 23 to 11. Ricky Davis. His agility and soft touch really paid off there. Not all players would have laid that in. About three and a half minutes left in the half. Passes to Thomas. Passes to the left side. Gives the up fake. For three, Jefferson grabs the rebound inside. The pass to Scalabrini. Passes to the right side. Pass, top of the key. They've got to rush it. Shoots with the clock winding down. Marber rips it down. When you settle on that kind of shot, you failed on offense. No if, no ands, and no buts about it. They've been doing a great job so far sharing the rock on offense. Ricky Davis. The teardrop layup fell through by Davis. The Knicks with the ball. 2.37 left in the second. To Richardson. Has right corner from 20 feet out. Snaps the net. Great pass. Way to find the open man. The Celtics with the ball. They should look to use some clock here. Passes to Pierce. Richardson read that pass and picked it off. Great finish by Marbury. The Celtics will take their first timeout of the game. Timeout, Celtics. The NBA is now taking deposits for season tickets. Stop by the fan assistance table in East Concourses to see how you can become an NBA season ticket holder. James comes in off the bench. Scalabrini will head to the bench. The Celtics with the ball. They're 12 for 19 from the field. Passes it to LaFrance. Takes it in. Jefferson has it, and that's his fourth rebound thus far. Shooting two. 
And he makes the first one. He gets them both. The Knicks bring it up. They're behind by 14. Swings it to Crawford. Puts up the tray. Planks it off the back iron. Davis played some nice perimeter defense and got right up into the shooter's face. Banked in by West. The Knicks with the ball. 132 left in the half. Pass to Richardson. Crosses it over. It's picked off by West. A finisher. Iron short but gets the kind roll and goes in. West waltz right in there on that one. He could have literally waltzed in there. Tons of room on that one. Inbound pass to Marbury. The Knicks bring it up. They're shooting 33% for the quarter. The pass to Richardson jacks up the triple. It takes a bad bounce and goes out of bounds. Celtics. Substitution on the court. The Celtics bring it up. 55 seconds left in the half. Passed it to Pierce. For three. Maybe next time. To Marbury. Pierce thought he'd had a bit more room, but he didn't get it. All he got was a hand in his face. Marbury gently drops it in. The Celtics bring it up. They're 7 for 11 for the quarter. Swings it to the left side. Skip pass to Pierce. Floats it up. It oh, falls! Pierce. No wasted opportunities for him. He's been so efficient on the offensive end. The Knicks bring it up. They're trailing 35 to 17. Passes to Richardson. Pass left wing. Releases on the mark with the fadeaway. They're trying to wear him down with some full court man to man defense. The Hail Mary heave from behind half court was off target by West. The clock runs out, and we're heading to halftime. The score, 35 to 19. Kevin, they call the crowd the sixth man, so I guess the sixth man is having a rough game right now. The home fans haven't provided much of a lift, and their team is suffering. Now that we've got a little break in the action, let's take a look at the first half with our Power Bar Triple Threat Halftime Report. Kenny? Thanks, Kevin. The Celtics were definitely in control. Pierce has been firing on all cylinders and has been a big spark plug for their offense. The Knicks are trailing by quite a bit. Crawford has been playing his heart out for them, but they're in a bad spot. They'll need to play terrific as a team and get a few lucky breaks if they want to pull this one out. Thanks, Kenny. Now let's take a look at the team stats from the first half. The Celtics have been doing an outstanding job of pushing the break and getting easy buckets, and they've taken a big lead. If this keeps up, they'll be cruising to victory. Now let's go to our Craig Sager for the Gatorade Around the Cooler update. Craig? Thanks, Kevin. A little while ago, I spoke with Larry Brown, coach of the Knicks. He told me that he's really happy with the way they've been playing so far. He said, we've been aggressive and have looked to get the ball inside offensively, and it's worked well for us so far. It has indeed, and you've got to figure they'll keep it up here in the second half. Kevin? Thanks, Craig. We should be ready to go momentarily. That's how to stick it. 
LaFrentz throws it in to start the third. Passes it to LaFrentz. Passes to the left side. Pierce, hump fakes. Dropped in by Pierce. Pierce had the defender all over him. He just faded away and arced his J over the top. Impressive shot. Marburg brings it up. He's four for six from the floor. Swings it to Richardson. Behind the arc. LaFrentz holds it in, and that's his fifth rebound in this one. The Celtics with the ball. About four and a half minutes left in the third. Skips it to Pierce. Lets it go from the wing. Hits the far oh, iron, but it goes in. Kevin, that's one of the toughest shots in basketball. It's so tricky to get that soft touch when you're flying to the basket. The pass to Richardson tries to post him up. To Crawford. From the free throw line, LaFrentz gets the rebound. The Celtics bring it up. They've got a nice lead. Passes to West. Allen connected on the shot, and he was fouled. He'll get one free throw. Shooting Scalabrini will hit the floor. Good for the three-point play. The Knicks call time. Marber brings it up the court. He's got eight points. Passes to Richardson. From long range, Sweetney rips it down inside. The J was missed by Sweetney. They lead by 23. Pierce tries to back down. The oh, quick Pierce. shot was hit by Pierce. Way to square up off the quick turnaround. That's pretty. Inbound pass to Marbury. The Knicks bring it up. About three and a half minutes left in the third quarter. Skip pass to Crawford. To end the run. Hits the left of the rim and gets the friendly bounce. They're playing him tight all the way up the court. Full court, man to man deep. Swings it to Allen. To Pierce. A fadeaway. Oh, Connects. Pierce. The Knicks with the ball. They're shooting 16% from beyond the arc. Fires from the high post. Step on Rips the court. Robbery. Two thirty-two left in the third quarter. Passes to Allen. Passes it to Pierce. 13 feet out. Oh, it's good! The Knicks with the ball. They've got a lot of ground to make up. The pass to Richardson. Richardson can't connect on the quick shot. Passes it down low. Gets some air! Pierce gets the board inside. Oh, they crash the offensive glass, and it's dropped in by Pierce. Marber brings it up. He's shooting 71% from the field. Swings it to Crawford. The tray. Money! 
The defender was right in his grill, and he still rifled it in. That's not luck, baby. That's skills. Scalabrini inbounds it to West. The Celtics bring it up. 141 left in the third. To Pierce. The feed to Blunt. Takes the turnaround, Jay. Shooting one. Substitution on the floor. Sinks the first of two. He gets them both. The Knicks with the ball. They're trailing by 25. Gives it to Crawford, takes the three. Scalabrini snatches the defensive rebound. Davis smothered him on that three, and that's what you got to do against a sharpshooter like that. Passes to Davis, raises up, misses from the corner. The Knicks with the ball. They're three for 14 from long range. He's double teamed. Davis ties it up, and that's a jump ball. The Celtics get the tip. Passes to Pierce. The tough shot blows the layup. The Knicks with the ball. 44 seconds left in the third. The pass to Crawford. Here comes the double team. It's stolen by Scalabrini. That was just good defense on that one. The defense threw the double team on him, and he didn't know where to pass it out. The Knicks with the ball. They're down 52 to 27. Four second difference between the shot clock and the game clock. Swung it to Marbury. To the rim, hits right rim and doesn't fall. Feeds it down low. Crawford intercepted the pass. Skipped it to Marbury. Marbury steps back from just inside the arc. We have just finished the third quarter, and it is a blowout. The score, 52 to 27. We still have one quarter to go. Ken, any thoughts as to who will win the player of the game? I think it's still up in the air, but I'll tell you who I'd go with. Pierce has been getting it done so far and has helped his team big. He's definitely the front runner for player of the game. Thanks, Kenny. And without further delay, it's time to start the fourth quarter. Thomas inbounds it to start the final quarter. Skip pass to Thomas. Skips it to Crawford. Launches beyond the arc. Bricks it off the front iron. To Davis. Crawford shows an Davis. awfully difficult shot there. He could have worked for a better look. About four and a half minutes left in the fourth. Pass it to Thomas. Thomas. Jefferson snatches it down inside. They're shooting 62% for the game. Nice Ricky job Davis. on the assist by Banks. Oh, I like it when teams run their offense from the inside out. They got in close there and made the most of it. Passes to Thomas. Swings it to Crawford. He's doubled up. Pierce ties it up, and that's a jump ball. The Knicks control the tip. Passed it to Crawford. Takes the turnaround, Jay. Puts too much on it. They're leading 56 to 27. Great finish by Pierce. He put the team on his shoulders, and he really carried them offensively. Amazing performance, Kevin. The Knicks with the ball. Under four minutes left in the game. Back to Marbury. He's double teamed. Pass to Thomas. The rim rattling dunk was ripped in by Thomas. The Celtics with the ball. They're shooting 64% from the field. Passes to Scalabrini. Pass left side. Dishes it inside. The shot in the Jefferson. paint was drained by Jefferson. I like the way they're working the ball inside. 
Easier shot, easier rebound, and a better chance to get to the line. The pass to Thomas. Thomas. Hammer. Defense and he'll go to the low. line. James is back in the game after a short rest. Pierce will leave the floor. He can't get the first. He's off on the second. They've got a nice lead. They've been dominating the boards, and that's why they're dominating the scoreboard. These guys are playing their hearts out. Too long, and it was missed by Allen. The Knicks with the ball. They're 13 for 39 from the floor. Time the Celtics out. will Celtics. take a timeout here. Richardson will hit the floor. Inbound pass to Banks. 2.55 left in the game. Passes to Scalabrini. Skip pass to the right side. From the wing. Banks it right in. Davis. Davis knocked it down in the face of the D. Kevin, I know the flashy dunks make the highlight reel, but those shots count just the same. Marber brings it up the court. He's got five assists. Snatched in by Sweetney. Spins. Fires. Misses the tough shot. The Celtics with the ball. They should slow it down and use some clock. Passes it to Scalabrini. Pass far side. To the rack. Hits the back iron, but gets Tony the lucky bounce. Allen. Fourth quarter with a double digit lead. You can't be in better position than that. The Knicks with the ball. They're down big. Skip pass to Richardson. A ferocious swat to send that shot away. Here's the break. Skipped it to the right side. Banks tries to lay it in, but it doesn't go. To the bucket. It's the kind Stiff roll off the front Fury. of the rim. The Celtics call time, time and they've got one left. Celtics. will come off the floor. Robbed by Sweetney to Marbury. Finished up with the dunk by Richardson. Marbury made a beautiful feed inside for the score. Beautiful passing really breaks down that defense. The Celtics with the ball. They're six for eight for the quarter. Swings it to Pierce. Passes to the corner. He's doubled up. The pass to Scalabrini. The Knicks bring it up. They trail by 29. Harbor Croft snatches the offensive rebound. Throws down the reverse jam. Those are the plays that coaches just love to see. In there, track down the misses and stuff it home. The Celtics with the ball. 1.14 left to the fourth. Pass right side. Richardson picked off that pass for his second Step takeaway on. of the contest. Marbury. Great finish by Marburg. Nabbed away by Crawford. And that's going to be his second takeaway of the contest. The one-handed jam by Crawford.
They'll try to stop this run. Passes to Scalabrini. Passes to Jefferson. Feeds it to the middle. Stop the run. Richardson corrals the miss inside. Richardson brings it up the floor. He's 0 for 7 from three-point range. The Celtics with the ball. 41 seconds left to the fourth. Oh, the lay-in was cashed in by Pierce. Pierce did all the things right on that play, and it paid off. They trail 66 to 41. To Crawford, pump fakes. Hauled in by Jefferson. That's his 10th rebound in this one. Davis tries the spin move. Fired short by Pierce. Under a minute to go, and the game is all but over. The alley-oop was finished by Richardson. Skips it to Scalabrini. With the teardrop, Sweetney grabs it, and that's his fifth rebound in this one. There's the horn. The Celtics blow out the Knicks, 66 to 43. A pretty convincing victory, to say the least. The Celtics put it together on both ends of the floor. Offensively, they were lights out. On the defensive end, they contested every single shot. You can't ask for much more. Thanks, Kenny. Now it's time to see the Toyota player of the game. Well, he clearly deserves it, Kevin. He made the difference out there, and he gets the nod. Good point. Pierce simply dominated. 32 points, four rebounds, and he's our Toyota player of the game. Time for us to say goodbye for Kenny Smith and Craig Sager. This is Kevin Harlan. Thanks for joining us for this presentation of the NBA on 2K Sports.